Since moving to the area, I've been fascinated with the incredible quality of fish and shellfish that come out of the Hawkesbury River. One really sustainable fish that comes from the river is mullet. Not only does it taste good, but it's a bargain buy for feeding your family. So, Marco and I are about to show you two ways to cook mullet in our new wood-fired oven. So Marco, what are you going to cook? So today I'm doing a beautiful Asian-inspired by you coconut glazed sticky mullet. What are you going to cook for us? I'm going to go to Italy and I'm going to do a tomato sauce with uh, raisins and pine nuts in it. Delicious. And some lemon zest and also I'm going to finish it with amaretti biscuits. Good luck. We might, we <laughs> might come tie. All right. <laughs> Shall we get to it then? Yeah. So we're going to start by making our coconut glaze. So in the pan here, we're going through about 60 grams of coconut sugar, and we're gonna melt that with 40 mils of water. And while that's happening over there, we're going to prepare our cabbage. So you just want rustic pieces just like that, not too big, and that's just gonna be the base for our fish. We're also going to score our mullet on the skin side, not too deep, you only just want to get down to the flesh, you don't want to go into the fish too much, but we're going to give it lots and lots of little scores. And that's just to help the heat penetrate the skin and to make it nice and crispy in the oven. So this is starting to look good now. Thickened up a little bit, so that means most of the water content has gone. So what we're going to do is just lightly coat our cabbage in that coconut. We're going to rest our fish on top like that. And then again, with the coconut glaze all over the fish and that's ready to go in the oven. So next, what we're going to do is make our hot and sour dressing for our garnish. In a mortar and pestle, pound three tablespoons of crispy eschalots with one scud chilli to form a rough paste. We're going to add in some lime juice, and then just to finish it off, we want about 30 mils of fish sauce. And that's it. This will really help cut through our oiliness and fattiness of the fish and the sugar on there is really gonna help meld everything together. So what we wanna do now is make our garnish. So over here I have some spring onions, I've got some ginger, some chilies, some coriander and mint. And what we're gonna do is just chop it up all nice and fine. The chili here is just for a bit of color to make it nice and pretty. We wanna take out the seeds and the membrane. We've got enough heat in our dressing already. Add to that five or six mint leaves and coriander leaves and lightly toss it in a bowl and set it aside. We're ready to go in the oven and then put it all together. My inspiration for my mullet dish has come from southern Italy and the flavours that I'm using are sweet, sour and salty, so similar to Marco's but no chilli at all. But I'll start with making the tomato sauce. So I've cut one and a half white onions and two cloves of garlic quite finely and I'm going to cook that off in some olive oil until they are translucent. We don't want to colour the onion at all. I actually made some tomato sauce with egg tomatoes that I've blanched and taken the skin off. I de-seeded the tomatoes because we want the sauce to be quite rich. By cooking these tomatoes down, I've really gotten the sweetness out of the actual tomato as well. So we've got these mullet here, freshly caught out of the Hawkesbury and then we filleted them. This fish is renowned for being a little bit muddy, so it can really take all these heavy flavours. The onion has nearly cooked to translucent. Remember getting that rawness out of the onion and the garlic. And I'm going to deglaze that with some dry white wine. Okay, so now we're going to add the fresh tomato. Two spoons, or maybe three, of tomato sauce. I'm also going to add some lemon zest, the pine nuts, the sultanas. I'm just gonna add a small amount of sea salt and I'm also gonna add a little bit of sugar. And we're going to cook this out for about 10 minutes on a low heat. What I'm gonna do with the mullet is I'm gonna cook it skin side down so the skin gets really crispy. So I'll just put a little bit of olive oil in there. So my pan's really hot now, which is exactly what I want. And I'm going to place that down in my pan. And I'm just going to use this to hold it down. I just want it to be flat. So the sauce is quite thick now, and that's exactly what I want. So I want a bit for my fish to rest on. Put a little bit more over the top. I'm not going to totally cover it. 
And now I'm going to mix together the Amoretti biscuit, the parsley and the lemon zest. Put that over the top, drizzle it with a bit of olive oil. When it goes into the oven, it's going to caramelise a little bit more around the edges. The Amoretti biscuit's going to get nice and crispy and more golden brown than it already is. And hopefully it's going to be a winner. All right, Marty, I'm ready. Oh good, so am I, so I'm really happy with this. Yeah, it looks good. So let's give these a taste test. Yep. And then we'll leave it to the guests to see who the winner is. Sounds good. Let's get them in the oven. Good luck, Jan. <laughs>